guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. So I hope you guys are having a uh, great Christmas day and uh, enjoying the holidays. Uh, it's always nice to uh, get gifts uh, and then hang with family. So uh, this video is going to be about the gifts that I got for uh, Christmas of 2020. So these are the train related items that I got. Uh, there are four freight cars and then a little uh, die cast uh, truck from K-Line. So let's take a closer look at all these items. This is the uh, smallest item that I got, but it's still really cool. This is a die cast K-Line uh, truck. This is a uh, Ford F-150. Uh, it's in this. You can uh, see all the detail through the clear box. Uh, Looks really good, and later on we'll be opening all these items so you can get an even better look at them. So here's the next item. This is a K-Line aluminum tank car uh, in the Pennsylvania Railroad paint scheme. It is really cool looking. It's kind of hard to see through the clear front, uh, but we'll be opening it up later. It's just in this really cool paint scheme. I don't know if uh, the Pennsylvania Railroad ever had a tank car uh, that was in that kind of brown color like this with the keystone on the side uh, but the, the coolest part is that it's aluminum uh, so it's a lot heavier than say a plastic one so here's the next item this is a, another K-Line car uh, this is a mobile gas tank car uh, this is an 027 scale car uh, the car before was a scale uh, model car this is the 027 so it's smaller but it's still really nice uh, the box is really heavy, so I believe it has a die-cast frame and die-cast trucks. And then it has this really nice uh, kind of orangish red color uh, with the nice silver mobile, ga uh, mobile gas lettering on the side. Here's the second to last item. This is a MTH Rail King die-cast Pennsylvania Railroad boxcar. This is the boxcar that went with the MTH version of the J1E Hudson to kind of represent the original 700E Hudson. Uh, the 700E came out with uh, freight cars and one of the freight cars was a Pennsylvania Railroad boxcar that was die cast metal and this is MTH's version of it. I have the Lionel reproductions but this is a uh, an MTH version and it is really really heavy. I'm gonna get a scale out and see how heavy it is later in the video but it is just extremely heavy. I believe the the shell of the car is just uh, very thick die cast metal. And finally, we have this really large aluminum K line Conrail uh, covered hopper. This is a really cool car. It was a total surprise. Uh, I had never mentioned anything about an aluminum covered hopper, uh, nor anything about Conrail, uh, but this was just a total surprise. It is a very cool looking car, and it's a nice addition to my collection, and it's going to look good behind an engine that is currently sitting on the Christmas display behind all these boxes. So here is the engine I was just mentioning. Uh, this is a MTH Rail King SD90 Mac uh, with Protosound 1 in it. It's nothing special, and it kind of looks weird. The whole front is all... Uh, shrunk and it's very short and stubby looking uh, but I found it for uh, a cheap price and I just couldn't say no to it it was just so funny looking and it's in good shape and runs well so uh, we'll be pulling all these cars uh, behind this uh, later in the video but yeah it's a really cool engine and uh, I just couldn't turn it down so now let's open all these cars up and get a better look at them
So there we go. All of them are out of the boxes and now we can take a closer look at each item. I'll look at the truck here first. And I'll pick it up so you can get a better look. Sorry if the lighting is making it hard to see, but it's really good looking. Uh, the uh, chrome grill looks good. Really shiny. Got the K-Line name on the side. Looks really good. Here we got the uh, mobile gas tank car. It's this really nice color. Here we have the Conrail uh, Hopper, which looks really nice. It's nice and big. It's the biggest car of this group of cars that I got, and it looks really good. Uh, it's all aluminum, and it shines because uh, it has this kind of glossy finish to it. Uh, but it's not super glossy, uh, which is nice. Move down. Here's the K-Line Pennsylvania Tanker. Never seen one like this, so... I don't know if this is realistic or not, but it looks really good. It has sprung trucks, as you can see. Same with uh, same with this car here. It just looks really cool. It's just different from any other tank car I have. And I'll roll this this way. And there's the Pennsylvania box car. It also has some sprung trucks. Uh, it's all die cast. So let me grab a scale so I can kind of show you how heavy this car is. So here is a plastic but scale box car sitting on top of this uh, scale here and as you can see it's just like half a pound it's almost um, one pound uh, which is decent for a freight car if you have lots of freight cars you'll have a decent uh, uh, size train and it'll weigh a decent amount but if I take this off and I set the die cast car I got on it look at that it's almost three pounds. This car weighs almost three pounds, which is just crazy. Uh, yeah, th this car weighs probably more than any other freight car in my collection, and that's just really cool. The it's just so hefty. Uh, it'll uh, it'll definitely be at the front of every train if it's in a train because of the weight, uh, which is really cool. And I'm really glad I have it now. So now I got all the cars hooked up behind the SD90 Max, so let's run them around for a little.
there we go. These are the gifts that I got for Christmas of 2020. Uh, I got these really nice uh, heavy metal freight cars, and they are nice additions to the collection. Uh, I'm glad that I have them, and uh, I've just been having a really nice Christmas, and I hope all of you are having uh, a good time uh, spending time with family and getting gifts. Once again, Merry Christmas. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below, and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.